My mommy's lesson is 1.1. Good morning. We are going to be looking at place values and patterns. Our essential question today, how can you describe the relationship between two place value positions? Let's investigate. You can use base 10 blocks to understand the relationships among place value positions. Use large cubes for thousands, flat for 100, and longs for 10, small cubes for 1. So let's look at our model. This large cube is 1,000, the flat is 100, the long is 10, and the small is 1. Let's complete the comparison below to describe the relationship from one place value position to the next place value position. You can use the manipulatives that are at the back table, or you have the chart here that we looked at in the previous slide. Let's look at the long and compare it to the small cube. The long is blank times as much as the small cube. So if I'm looking at the long and I'm looking at the small, I can see that the small, there's 10 of the smalls inside the long. So the answer is the long is 10 times as much as the small cube. Looking at the flat, compare it to the long. The flat is, so here's my flat and there's my long. Again, the flat is going to be 10 times as much as the long because there are 10 longs in a flat. Now let's look at the large cube and compare it to the flat. The large cube is blank times as much as the flat. So here's my flat and if you look and you can actually count them, there are 10 flats in one large cube. So I'm going to write 10 times as much. Now if I'm going the other way and I'm looking at the flat and I'm comparing it to the large cube, so there's my flat and I'm comparing it to this cube, there's this is one-tenth of this. So the flat is going to be one-tenth of the large. So one-tenth of the large. When I look at the long and I compare it to the flat, again, there's 10 of them in there, so it's going to be one-tenth because I'm going the other direction. One-tenth. Last, look at the small cube and compare it to the long. The small cube is one-tenth of the long because I'm going the other direction. So this, this is 10 times greater than this, and this is one time, one tenth of this. So it depends on which direction you're going. Let's look for patterns. Describe the pattern you see when you move from a lesser place value position to the next greater place value position. So as you move from a less play, less, lesser place value position to the next greater place value position, the pattern is that the greater place value position is 10 times as much as the lesser place value position. Looking at the pattern, describe the pattern you see when you move from a greater place value position to the next lesser place value position, and that is going to be as I move from the greater place value position to the next less place, lesser place value position, the pattern is that the lesser place value position is one-tenth of the next greater place value position. So it's a matter of going this way on the chart or going this way on the chart. So you can use understanding of place value patterns and place value charts to write the numbers that are 10 times as much as or one tenth of any given number. So here I have three hundreds, so three hundreds. I can write three hundreds here. So if I'm looking at the tens and comparing it, the tens are one tenth of three hundred and the thousands are 10 times as much as 300. So if I were to write that out, 3,000 is 10 times as much as 300. So that would be 3,000. And 30 is 1 tenth of 300. So let's use the steps below. Let's use the steps below to complete the table. We're going to write the given number in the place value chart. So that would be here, 10, 70, 9,000. Then we're going to use the place value chart to write the number that is 10 times as much as the given number. So if my number is 10, so if my number is 10, 10 times as much is going to be over here, which is going to be 100. And then if I'm, again, I'm writing that, so if I've got my 10 here, 1 tenth of that is going to be 1. So now we're going to pretend that I have 70. So here's my 70. Okay. 10 times as much is going to be 700. 
and one tenth as much is going to be seven. So now I'm looking at 9,000, so now I'm gonna write my 9,000 here. 10 times as much is gonna be 90,000. Okay, and one, um, one tenth as much is going to be 900. So I want you to do the on your own problems. I will be on the carpet if you need help. I'm also gonna be assigning the math trainer online so that can help you uh, to get through, especially the math on the spot video for the next segment of Share and Show. All right, good luck.